This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favourite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Okay, so I dialed in this tone that I thought some of you people would like uh, earlier this morning and I asked if you wanted it to, to leave a comment. None of you did, so maybe you don't like that tone. But let me know in this video, maybe you do like this tone. I'm going to show you how to dial it in now. Um, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. For me, it's like that quintessential big Fender with a nice kind of big full bass response, plenty of chime and like a little bit of a scoopy mid thing that works perfectly with a Strat. Okay, I wanted to share this tone with you because I was playing with it earlier on today and I think it's probably one of the best Fender tones that I've got out of the HX Stomp. Um, previously, the Twin Blues weapon uh, was the one that I kind of created around the same time that I was experimenting with that Fender Pro Reverb from 1965. And what I've done with this is essentially just changed out the cabs. So the simple EQ that I've got here, I'm boosting the low end going in and boosting the high end going in if if I want that on that's for if I want a bit more sparkle I've got the screen 808 which is the perfect companion I think for a Fender amp 4.2 gain 7.5 tone level at 9.4 we got US double vibe so that's the, the vibrato channel of the twin uh, 3.9 drive 7 bass mid to 8.2 Presence at 6, sorry, presence at 0, treble at 6. Presence is at 0 because it isn't on the actual amp itself. Um, and then we've got kind of settings as follows there. Uh, then we've got parametric EQ, 110 hertz, doing nothing. We're pushing the mids around 2.6 kilohertz uh, with a low Q plus 2.7. Um, that's just a little mid push there. We've got hot springs if we want it, but also we've got a dynamic room. Now, I might change this out potentially for the dynamic ambience. Uh, we'll see how we go with that, but those are the settings for that kind of 30% mix. Um, we've got the spring reverb there if we want it as well. And then the cabs that I initially have gone for, and this would be where you could really dial this thing in to your liking. The 4038 ribbon microphone is the, the mic with the most bass, kind of my, most full in the, the lower end of all of the mics within the Helix. It's potentially a little bit overpowering for some things, but I think you'll agree that it really does, you can feel the thing moving a lot of air, which is a good thing. I'm on the cap edge, one inch away. So this is the four by 20, four by 10 tweed, which I think is a new cap, low cut off, high cut off, um, everything panned up the center. And then I'm also pairing it with the four by 12 black back 30 with the same mic, same sort of position and again, we got that same sort of thing going on. And what you get is kind of a really... And again, we've got this spring here if you want it. But 
I don't know if I, I necessarily need that one on for a lot of things. And then we've got the Tube Screamer, which does a lovely thing. <laughs> Um, so we could also consider changing this out for the dynamic ambience, I guess. I don't know if that's going to potentially sound a bit more like a room. I don't imagine that's going to be worlds different from the room sound, but let's just have a listen. Here, what's going on with that like that and then if we turn the room mix all the way up maybe we get a bit more of a smoother kind of diffusion and stuff is a bit longer I might even consider getting rid of this spring here and putting in some sort of delay because I think that could bring things a little bit more to life if you're into delays let's try the elephant man and we'll take the feedback up take the time up to full, take the depth way down low, take the mix down low and take the scale down to about 80% and you get this kind of thing then And again, if you want to boost the input going in, think of that like a bright switch and also pushing the low end a bit as well. And I'm finding that incredibly fun to play. If you wanted to get a bit of a darker tone, you could consider taking the high cut down. I'm really liking the kind of directness of it though. Um, it's kind of direct and still warm, but you could take this down if you want a bit more warmth or you could move the position. Um, So yeah, give that a try. I think you'll probably dig that. Feel free to turn it up nice and loud to get that real kind of 
big clean feel because what I find is when you're playing with a real kind of big clean amp you tend to play a bit lighter because the thing is so loud Give that a try. Let me know if you want me to drop this into the folder. Um, if we can get, you know, just a reasonable amount of comments asking for it, this will help the video find its feet on YouTube. And I think it helps um, other people find it if they want to find this sort of video. Uh, I hope you appreciate the videos in some small way. I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers for now.